my boys, we have a wonderful machine in our possession, having a totally full explore the full potential of this miraculous machine. We shall tell no one. Hello folks, welcome to the wonderful world of random sequencing. We have a lot of uh, stuff to talk about there. We have a spin cycle right here, about 66 spins. Uh, so there's, uh, it's, hard, it's hard to determine where to, where to begin, actually. But we're going to begin with this 25 equals 5, 5 equals 10. Because this, the reason that is because 25 carries the statement 2 fives, which is 5, 5, and 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. And as you can see right here, we have a 25, and it's sequenced to a 10. Now, the nice thing about this sequence right here is that you also have the equal statement right here. That, that's 11 is the equal statement, like in mathematics. And the nice thing about this sequence is that this is the last place where it could connect to a 10. It could, it, uh, it's a bit far over here, but it could do it uh, theoretically because you have the equal statement. So, so that it could connect this way and this way, but it did it over here, which is nice. And uh, I'd like to also talk about the 25 plus 25 equals 50. Now, if you look over here, we have a 25, 25. And then it does sequence to a 10 because that's relative. But what you have over here is you have the uh, tw the 1, 2 form statement. And R what? 5, 0. That's 50. And these themes um, usually continue on and on and on and on. Let me show you how this happens. Because look how the 10 connects to the 15. And what it does, here's the, t here's the 10, here's the 15. And what you have right here is the 1, 1, which is the equal statement. Equals what? 50. And it actually continues even more. With Whenever you get a, uh, where it's asking to, to create a 50, the 32 and the 23 are notorious for making 50s, especially when they connect to a, uh, to a double zero here. In other words, over here is 3, is 30, this is 30. And this is 20, this is 20, and this is 30. They all make 50s. And then it sequences over here with a 5, which allows it to, to make I 50. Now, the thing about this is that if you you do assume these uh, type of sequences, in other words, if you think that uh, it's not going to play out this over here, and it's going to play a 5, I would recommend playing uh, all 5s. That would be 5, 15, 25, and 35. It's because, it, you know, it, it, it doesn't get redundant. Uh, it, it'll break up. It'll break out of this mode and then probably play a five of some sort. So that's something that you should probably think about. I like to talk about this concept right here, which is 28 plus 28 equals 56. Whenever you see a 56, and sometimes you might think it's a 65, like over here we have a 16, 29, and what you have over here is the R statement, the one two. The R is just the R. And it was on the left hand side. These are the statement sections. These are the value value sections. So it's an R statement and it says 69. Uh, over here, you can see right here, this is uh, the R statement again. And here you got 56 or 65. It all depends on, on the perspective. But I usually, I look at it as uh, 28 plus 28 equals 56. So that's what I, that's the way I usually play it out. So we have the one, two, that's the R statement. And then the sequence is over here to the 20, 26, and you have the 22, and it's just a statement. 22, what? 56. So at this point, you know, it probably will go into uh, the 28 sequence. It didn't happen here, but it happened over here. So this is, uh, you probably want to play it out over here. Now the thing is, is that you the best thing to do, for, I would recommend, is to play all 8s. Like if you play 8, 8 18, 28, 28. Just three numbers, right? Uh, uh, play that out, and once and put higher value on the 28 because you're expecting the 28, 28 sequence. So put high value on that, and uh, and then uh, you it's going to make another 28, 28. You don't know if it's going to be here, here, or here. But this is the last opportunity where you could make a 28. It's too, it's too far to go over here. So assume this half step right here that you're going to have a 28. But I would recommend just uh, playing all eights, which is 8, 16, and 28. I like to talk about this concept right here. It's the, where you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ones. And now, how do you translate 5 ones as equal to 
to 5 once, that's 51. And that is equal to 15 in roulette language. Now, if you look over here, we have 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1. That's 5 once. And in the middle, you have the 15. It was like a, a, a perfect way to put it in, and it's just a half step away. So again, you have 5 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How do you say 5 ones? 5 ones. And this has like a statement of 5 ones right there, too. Um, and it did it right in the middle, so that's uh, that's how you count ones. In other words, if it was just one 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 one, that would be uh, four ones, which translates to fourteen. And three ones would be uh, thirty-one. That's uh, thirty-one expresses one one one. So that's basically the concept of how to count ones. I'd like to talk about. Uh, the, what uh, we, we have a statement here is six equals. So what is the equivalent of six equals? Well, the equivalent of six equals is uh, three plus three is equal to six. Another expression would be two, pu two plus two plus two is equal to six. So here's your equal sign. And uh, you have a two that followed right here. And uh, you can make a judgment call. I think uh, the fact that, that if you did see uh, 22 being played out, the 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to uh, 6. And uh, one thing is is that uh, the 11 is uh, equal to 3 in binding notation. And it sequences to a 2. So this could be 32. Now the thing about 32 is that it carries the statement. Uh, let me find a 32 here if I can find. Uh, uh, here's a 32. So it carries the statement. Uh, three twos. What is three? I mean, I'm sorry, equals two. This is equals two. What is equals two? Two, two. So if this is a three, this is 32. Uh, and so I'm assuming that it will play out a two, two right here. Uh, and again, you have the six is equal to three plus three, which is 33. Is uh, three, three plus three is six. So here's your equal sign, and here's your six. Sometimes you'll get sequences that read between the lines. Let me show you an example right here. You have the equal statement right here. And uh, what follows is the 11.22. Now what that also expresses is 12.12. 12. And 12 plus 12 is equal to 24. So this is something that's like, it happens. Uh, this is just reading between the lines. 12.12 12 is equal to 24. And this is your equal sign right there. I wanted to show how the 11.11 11 sequences to a 33 here. Now the reason why that uh, connects is because the 11 is uh, is equal to 3 because in uh, in binary notation 1 1 is is 3. So basically what you have here is 3 3 and it links to this 33 right here. I'm going to talk to you about this concept right here. It is the uh, 28 carries the statement 2 8 which is equal to 8 8. And 8 plus 8 is, is equal to 16, or 8, 8, as this is being 8. This is a symbolic 8, and this is also a symbolic 8. Uh, I, I call it metamorphic 8, too. So this is 8, 8, and this is all 8, uh, 8, 8. And 8 plus 8 is equal to 16, so remember that. Here we got 2 8s is equal to 8, 8, and 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. So if you go over here, you have the double zeros, and it's sequenced to a 28. Now, you you want to assume that there's probably going to be another double zeros here, here because uh, this carries a statement two eights, right? And this is a metamorphic eight, and this is a metamorphic eight. So you want to play out this sequence right here uh, as, a, as a metamorphic eight here. And now you're in a situation where you got eight, eight, eight plus eight is equal to 16. And in this situation, you're assuming that there's going to be a six, uh, 16. I would recommend playing all sixes, just in case. So in this place, in this situation, you want to play uh, play out six, 16, 26, and 36. And if you did that, you would hit right there. So remember that that uh, you see double zero linked to 28, and you want to assume another double zero because that'll make eight eight. The statement two eights, right? So uh, remember that, and it'll probably sequence to a 16, which it didn't. But but if you played all sixes, you would hit right there. I'd like to talk about the 3535 sequence. Uh, whenever you get a 3535 sequence, it's going to play out a 70. As you can see over here, it played out a 70. So that's something that you should probably uh, realize because over here, 
what you have is 35 i35 that's that's 35 and you got a 35 here so you probably and now do you see the double zeros there you probably want to play out a a, a seven of some sort so that would mean play all sevens that would be seven 17 27 and if you play those you're probably hit uh, again uh, and over here as you can see the following the C statement follows the uh, seven right here so uh, that's another thing is that if you do because this is way in the future so you want to assume also that uh, it's gonna play a seven over here of some sort and in this case it was the seven so you would probably want to play seven 17 and 27 because they're only uh, three numbers so when you get a 35 uh, here's the 35, here's the 35, and there's all kinds of ways. There's your R statement making a 35. So it doesn't really matter how many 35s, as long as you get at least two. Then you want it, all it takes is just two to uh, to think that it's that you're going to get a 70. So again, here's your 35, here's your 30, 35, and you got your R statement that has 35. So you're going to assume uh, that uh, there's going to be a uh, 70 form. And once the zero zeros was already established you already know that there's going to be a seven and over here the c statement follows over here and it followed with the seven zero so the moment it plays out a seven and you're playing all zeros you i mean you're playing all sevens here no matter what seven seventeen and twenty seven now you know to follow with the zero and in this case just uh you you want to give high value to the zero because that's the one you're expecting because that spells out 70 but uh i would play all zeros just play all zeros that would be zero double zero ten twenty and thirty right um, just do that and you'll be okay I want to show you the sequence again of uh, this 25 that linked to a 10 that the reason why is because uh, this this carries a statement uh, two fives which is five five and five plus five is equal to ten but if you look over here notice that there is a 10 right here and you're thinking that you're gonna get tw uh, a 25 now that's a good, uh, you could put high value on that sequence uh, as as it being played out, just because it played out over here, right? Uh, if we, the, the best predictor of the future behavior is past behavior, so so in other words, they did it here, and you want to assume that, I mean, that's okay. Uh, but over here, you know, you have the statement here, C15, and so you have a 10 right there, and, and it, linked, it, it sequenced to a 5, so kind of, it did what it said right here. So, but but the thing is, is that if you assume there's going to be a 25, the best thing to do is to play all fives, and that would be 5, 15, 25, and 35. Do that, do that. But put the high value on the 25 because it did a year, obviously. So that's important to realize. I wanted to talk about these uh, inversion sequences. This is what I call the Jimi Hendrix experience sequences, where you have uh, on the value side right here, where you get uh, a 69696. Six, six. Now those are um, they these are they happen in a chain a chain of events here. And as you can see it started here and it went down vertically right here. So if you you it's okay to assume that this is going to happen. Now the, the the nice thing about this is that if if you see that 69 inversion you and you knowing that it's going to sequence to a 6, obviously you're going to be playing all 6 because you don't know what type of 6 is going to be. So you play 6, 16, 26, and 36. And not, and then realizing that this one's going to be a 9, you play all 9s. That would be 9, 19, and 29. And then again, all 6s, 6, 16, 26, and 36. And you do it again, because you you want to assume. And even though it didn't happen, that's okay. You Now you know that the, the chain of events is uh, ended. So this is uh, the 6, 9 version and it's called the Jimi Hendrix experience. So um, this is, an, you know, be very aware of this uh, inversion sequence. And finally, I'd like to cover uh, this concept right here where we have uh, the statement uh, two threes, or tw two threes is three three. In other words, the, the 23 carries the statement two threes, which is 33. And it's followed by a 13, 13. And what we have over here on the uh, left-hand side is just a statement. The value numbers are are on the right-hand side. So what you have is equals 33. So this is a sequence to 33, sequence into a 33 right here. Now you also after, once this has been established, you have 13 plus 13, which is equal to 26. Now you're assuming that the next sequence is going to be uh, 26. 
obviously that that will be your high value number but again play all sixes play 6 16 26 and 36 if you do that you'll hit no matter what that's why i say play all sixes because you're assuming there's going to be a 26 but it didn't it followed with a 26 you see and now you're remember you're you're probably going to say it's going, there's going to be a single two linked to a six that'll make 26 or it could be a 20 linked to a uh, a six that'll make 26 now that would be the options that you could play for for this square right here play the uh two that makes linked to a six or a 20 linked to a six but you want to play all sixes just in case and you could put a high value on the 26. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's a lot of material that we cover here, and I really hope that you like it, and we'll see you in the next sequence. And folks, as always, please click the subscribe button below, show some love, give me some thumbs up. I have links below with PayPal and Patreon, and I will see you on the next wonderful world of random sequencing.